This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razel K and I'm back with another tour review and today Jada Toys Metal Figs, not the Nano one. And this one I couldn't keep in the box, I had to get them out. Uh, it's Optimus Prime and then they cross sell you Bumblebee, which I've seen in store but I was actually waiting for this Prime to be on sale. But there was only one left and there was like nine Bumblebees. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna wait for Bumblebee to go on sale. But if there's only one or two left, I'm probably gonna pay full price. Cause these are, I like metal figs. Like, like honestly, it's a new fun stuff to, for me to collect. Um, but just, you know, a couple things, not too much. Uh, I like the, I love the nano metal figs. I'm waiting for series threes. Just the thing we haven't had an update in forever. Uh, one thing I want to, you know, notice. I want you to notice on the box that the image of up the artwork is backwards. This is, you know, traditional Mark Watts. Uh, so is this. I wonder if he still gets residual for this, but it's backwards. Unless I'm missing a joke, that is a possibility. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, uh, Optimus Prime uh, uh, diecast. Doesn't transform, blaster rifle, an axe, what's not to love? So let's go, let's take a look at this. But before I get on with the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Unless a new supply of energy is found, nobody is going to win this war. Okay, another quick look at the box. Um, you know, uh, G1 uh, style artwork. Um, I don't know if that's, it doesn't seem to be the actual original from Mark Watts, uh, but it's uh, close enough, so I think you should get residual. Uh, Autobot Optimus Prime, Metal Figs, Jada Toys, or Transformers, uh, Heroic Autobots, 8 plus and then metal figs and again just the backwards artwork I don't get that you know maybe it's a joke maybe I don't and bumblebee and as you can see they have the eyes that light up uh, so that's fun um, it, it looks really good on a display stand so or, or a shelf so I'm uh, happy to have this it's gonna be a quick review because there's not much to go over uh, the blaster looks really good kind of tiny big uh, round cannon it's not blast effect compatible with anything that I have but looks really good uh, you, you know you look at it you know it's Prime's gun uh, no hollow parts you know uh, this is plastic and then the clear plastic axe looks really good as well uh, nicely uh, molded injection uh, clear translucent looks really good I like that and then Optimus Prime itself he looks really good and if you press on the chest glowing eyes well okay hold on let's close some lights so that's the reason for nightbird's visit so there you go this is in complete darkness this is what you get and i like the way it looks so what you get from optimus is uh die cast everything uh chest legs except the fist are plastic and the head is also plastic or actually yeah, it feels plastic uh, yeah it is but and I didn't think but you do get some articulation you get your ferris wheel on both arms you get rotation at the fist on both sides and then you have a complete rotation oh no my bad you only get uh, 180 degrees left and right no up or, or down um, but it's an added bonus because I really thought this was a whole piece of metal and okay that's a miss this fist is removable because you can put the gun in there no problem you know looks good Optimus Prime pew 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 and then you can remove the fist Put the axe in, 
So well, that's cool. You destroy everything you touch, Megatron. <laughs> this fist, for the life of me, I'm afraid to break it. Like this, the other one comes off like it's just you pull and pop. But this one, it's not the same joint. It really is not. And the instruction, or the limited instruction you get, uh, they really show you to um, not remove that. Like I actually they just show you to remove this more precisely. And this is where the screw is. If you want to unscrew this to change the battery, it takes three little batteries, um, you know, big watches or anyway. So there you go. So you can't have both weapons at the same time. So I think that's a miss. But if you go for a cartoon accuracy, I guess uh, that works. So there you go. Tiny goodness of a prime. Uh, just a fun thing to have on the stand. This is my first experience with this. I'm going to get the B. Uh, I don't know if they did any other before. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a sound wave or a shock wave or something like that. So something I might have to look up. For now, this is what I have. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.